In this short video of digital logic and computer design, we have been asked to convert this binary number into a decimal. For this conversion, we are going to multiply each one of these coefficients of binary with its base that is 2. So let me write it as 1 multiply with 2 plus 1 multiply with 2 plus 1 times 2 plus 0 times 2. Now this is the all part. Now for this binary fraction, I would multiply these coefficients with its base. So first two zeros and then two ones. So zero multiply with two plus zero multiply with two plus one multiply with two plus one multiply with two. Now is the critical point in this conversion. We have to assign powers to the base we have been distributed with these coefficients. So we have to take start from the base R2 that is being connecting to this unit digit less. So this is the two I'm talking about. So it will get zero moving towards the left 1 2 and 3 and on this side of 0 it will get minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and minus 4 now it's time to calculate carefully so 1 times 2 cube is equal to 8 plus 1 times 2 square is 4 plus 1 times 2 is 2 plus 0 now this this and this will become 0 this is the fraction of binary number 0 plus 0 now this one is 1 by 8 plus 1 by 8 are 0 0.125 plus 0 0.0625 now by adding it will give us 14.1875 so this binary number has equivalent decibel of 14.1875 similarly a number expressed in any base can be converted to its decimal equivalent by multiplying each coefficients with the corresponding power of their base and adding let me take another example consider this base 9 number and its coefficients will be from 0 to 8 and let me take like 5 6 7 times 2 8 to convert this one into its equivalent decimal these coefficients going to multiply with its base 5 times 9 plus 6 times 9 plus 7 times 9 plus this by fraction part 2 times 9 plus 8 times 9 and assigning power to the base will be same what we have done over here so taking start from the 9 are the base that has been connecting to this unit digit place so taking start from here and then moving towards the left 0 1 2 and on this side it will be minus 1 and minus 2 now calculate x value and mention it in the comment section that will be the equivalent decimal for this number